So the next day, laughed it off. Salsa Wars come on that night. And they booed. They booed outcasts. They booed them. I remember that. And Andre said the South got something to say. Yeah. I'm tired of folks, you know what I'm saying? The closed minded folks, you know what I'm saying? It's like we got a demo tape and nobody want to hear it, but it's like, this the South got something to say. That's all. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Well, man, you hurt me. <laughs> Big boy and Andre. I, I, I don't never want to overshadow them because Andre is Andre. A statement Andre they different. made is creative. They different. Andre, Love them guys. Andre's statement is a statement that made a difference in my life or what I wanted wow. to do. Wow. What statement was that? I was actually in in on the East Coast getting into rap, and then I was of course I was hustling in the military. You know, we about to talk about that later, but I was watching the source and. And it's so funny, ironic of life is, I was in New York with a friend of mine, Raul Benefield. He was in the military, brought me to New York for the weekend. And I'm freestyling, like it used to be. It was like, man, you nice kid, you nice, you know how talk, kid. And he's like, where you from? I'm like, I'm from New Orleans. Oh, it's murder in Monica, y'all ain't got no rappers. Mm. I just, you know, my dude knew me how I was then, like I was about to hit him. And he was like, man, come on, don't worry about it. I said, all right, I said, I'll be back. He said, yeah, all right, you know, and so, you know, so the next day, laughed it off. Salsa Wars come on that night. And they booed. They booed outcasts. They booed them. I remember that. And Andre said the South got something to say. Yeah. I'm tired of folks, you know what I'm saying? The closed-minded folks, you know what I'm saying? It's like we got a demo tape and don't nobody want to hear it, but it's like this, the South got something to say. That's all. And in my mind, and I, I swear on my kids, I said, I want to be part of, and I love New York. Don't get me wrong, I love because they created, they gave this gift, they opened them doors. In America. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, I wanna be part of the I wanna be part of the reason that they be replaced mm -hmm. for them doing that to him. You know, and that was personal. And that's why when I did my video with Big Pun, I wanted to do it in New York in Times Square. And it was a piece in the video that P uh, didn't want him to put in that video because I took my tanks off, kissed it and put it down on the ground and made him put the camera there. Like we Got this now. Fuck should I be scared? I'm holding. Terror Squad. <laughs> no limit. You know? Wow. Even more so because of what they did, Andre. Right. That, wow. was, that was personal. And all the times that, whether it was even Russell, who was an idol of mine, you know, because I either wanted to be a rapper or I wanted to be the guy to put things together. Mm -hmm. And he said they never signed somebody from the South. Wow. And how many times they, they did this on us. And I always say... Would you say we, Russell said that? Russell Simmons, Russell yeah. Russell Simmons. He yeah, said it's, it's that, he said that. Yeah, that he, that he, you know, it was like that, you know, never signed somebody from the South. He didn't consider hip-hop. You know how New York was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And how they thinking. And I always said, with, what a lot of them don't understand about the South, we come from slavery. That's right. And so we can always fight harder to own everything. That's why you see a lot why to create the movement, which was, yeah, in the Bay of being independent, which was taught to P and everybody else. And, and then the little J's and the Luke Skywalkers and, and the um, MC, I uh, forgot his name, man. I'm sorry, man. Disrespect, disrespectful, forgetting his name. They used to print Magic Mike. They used to print up Magic his own Mike, stuff. Yeah. People forget about him. He used no, to yeah. print his own yeah. CDs yeah. up and sell them Go Go or whatever. But we from slavery. And so we always did what? Fight and right. work hard to get our 40 acres and a mule our mm. own. Yeah. So now you translate that, why the South really came up. We had no choice. Nobody really wanted us. They didn't want to give us deals. They didn't want that, so we did it ourselves. And collectively together as states, we're bigger than everybody. You can go to Golden, Texas alone. Once the South woke up, you know, with, with, with ghetto boys and everything they did, and even in Atlanta, they wasn't woke yet. They was in deals but they were constantly coming. And then mm -hmm. we came with the independent situation. Now you, thus you see what you see. The QCs, the, the, you know, the Yogadis and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Their labels and, and other Southern labels that are so big because, but it all springs back to that one night when they told you, when they, when they booed him. I'm tired of folks, you know what I'm saying? The closed-minded folks, you know what I'm saying? It's like we got a demo tape and don't nobody want to hear it, but it's like this, the South got something to say. That's all. Yeah. And you say the South got something to say. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.